Hey everybody, Josh here from Android Central. Just wanted to show you guys an N64 emulator I found. It's called Real64. And as far as an N64 emulator would go, it does a pretty decent job. The very first time you open up Real64, it'll ask you to find a folder with ROM files in it, and I actually had that loaded up already, which is why I hopped straight into Super Smash Bros. As you can tell from the video here, no performance issues really. Videos load in rather quickly. You can't hear the audio unfortunately. There was a little bit of static, uh, some stutteriness there, but never affected the video output, so that was great. One thing that's a little, not necessarily annoying, just something that you need to be aware of is that depending on the game you're playing, it's very particular about if it wants the virtual joystick or if it wants a virtual D-pad. Uh, Super Smash Bros. is one of the games that is rather particular about having the virtual joystick, which is why I just went to the settings menu and put that in. But as you can see, this is true to playing it on the N64. I mean, picked my character, uh, it loads rather quickly, and then you'll see me take on the computer link, and it runs rather well. No screen issues with the boomerang, movement is fine, A button for smash attacks, B was for boomerang. Uh, the only thing that is a little difficult, and I think this is in all games, is if you have to jump using up on the joystick, you've really got to make it all the way up top or your guy won't jump. So if you'll bear with me a couple more seconds, this guy should get knocked out, hopefully soon. And I think that's winning right there. Excellent. So I've actually got a couple different games that I wanted to show off. The next one we're going to hop into is Pokemon Stadium. And this is a good example of when things don't run so smoothly. Right now there's no background audio playing. The video is fine, but you'll notice that images are just absolutely ruined uh, for some reason. I'll also have to go in to the settings and put the virtual d-pad back on because for some reason the Pokemon Stadium games are extremely particular about that. Uh, once we get into the actual gameplay, there's not an issue, but the images are all messed up so you need to read the menus to see what exactly you're going to do. Again, no lineups, no uh, character avatars, anything like that. From here on out, the gameplay is alright. There's still no audio going on at all in the background. But once I pick my three and actually get into the battle, we are fine. This uh, narration is getting a little lengthy. The last game after this is Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, which we only get into the opening cutscene because you know, one movie. Uh, the audio was fine, the video was fine there. Uh, in my personal experience, the gameplay was great. This is Real64, N64 emulator app. It is uh, the only one that I've seen that's actually in the market now. But if you're looking to play some N64 ROMs on your phone, assuming you've got a high-end device, I would definitely pick it up. It's called Real64 and it's in the Android market.